again. It's a red stick. And happy new year to you all we are back fishing of course with the new year a new year resolution definitely catch more fish and catch a lot of pompanos especially during January and February when they are running thick so hopefully today we're gonna be catching some pompanos I have actually bought fish gums I have never used the fish gums before but I've been hearing good things about it right here. I got the Sanfili flavor and I'm gonna try it. I've been using all fish bites attached with the uh, Sanfilis and sometimes shrimp. But today, as you can see here, I have the fish gum, Sanfili flavor and uh, Sanfili. So I got that rig. I changed the hook to circle hook, number one because I think you have a better chance of hooking up the fish with the circle hook. I'm using a five ounce pyramid weight right now and it's kind of holding. It's windy today, around 10 to 15 miles an hour, north, northeast winds, uh, high tides coming around. I'm right by Melbourne Beach. I came more south today because I've been on the north side and the water is definitely colder uh, than here here this side by the south the more south you go obviously it's gonna get warmer and pompanos they actually migrate where the warm water is so I'm trying to see if that actually holds true and we're gonna find out if we get some pompanos uh, it's really windy like I said I brought my drone as well I'm gonna try to do some drone fishing. I'm gonna take my line with the drone out there right after the second sandbar. So maybe the third sandbar because I could go 800,000 feet away with the uh, down rig that I have. I take my drone out and I drop the bait and it's perfect. So I'm gonna be doing that as well this year more. I have requests, especially from my buddy Paul. He requested that, so I'm gonna do that for you, buddy. Don't you worry. But without further ado, guys, Happy New Year. Let's catch some pompanos. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish gums, and sand flea. What do we got? What do we have? I literally just tossed this. Oh man, did I lose it? Oh no. Is it still there? Yep, still there. Alright, first fish of the new year guys, 2021. What do we have? Small whiting? Oh, that's a good size whiting. Yes. Hello. 2021 whiting welcome to my channel that's a good size whiting guys check that out Woo! fish gums and sand flea here we go Woo! that's a big boy definitely a big boy look at that guys easy 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 Woo feisty Feisty. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. There you go, guys. First fish of the year. Yeah, baby. Let's do this. Oh, we have a fish on. Do we have a fish on? That was a good bite, man. Woo! That was a good hit. Yep, still there. He's like whiting. Because Pompano takes off, man. <laughs> like crazy. You know if it's a pompano. But it's a small fish. Nonetheless, it's a fish. On my lucky rod. Water got cloudy. It was much clearer earlier.
Oh, look at that. Little palm, baby palm. Hey, <laughs> we got a palm. I never talked about the size, so I should have asked for anything bigger than 11 inches. Well, there you go, guys. Here it is. <laughs> Oh man, I need your mama and papa. Uh, let's get them off the hook. Woo, the spice. Put it down, man, I know. Wow, that's sharp. Holy crap. Here we go. On the fish comes. Little baby pompano. You could tell from the nose and the mouth and the eyes. A little bigger. The shape. Go get bigger, buddy. I'll see you next month. <laughs> Guys, quick update. I just want to compare the fish bites into fish gums. Fish gums, as you can see, more natural, little thicker, and dissolves much quicker. Very soft, definitely softer than the fish bites. So you have to go twice. One from the top, one from the bottom to get it stay on the hook that's very important I'm gonna show you the fish bites now my favorite fish bite flavor is the uh, shrimp pink and sand flea easy flea so I'm gonna get an easy flea right here right there the fish bite is much harder more dense it's almost like more artificial than natural if you see look at each other just like that much thinner harder and this is much softer it's almost like a natural bait so on the fish comes good morning ladies and gentlemen back with another video for you Conor your YouTube fisherman we're here with my other half my wife there getting some vitamin D we left the girls at school came here to the beach for a couple hours before we pick him up again and of course I take any chance I get I'm fishing I have only two rods today I got my bluefish rig it's like a Carolina rig I got my frozen cup mullet on that I'm gonna use my other rod for the regular pump on the rig use some sand fleas and fish bites and fish gums so i'm gonna continue comparing the fish gums with fish bites which one does a better job on my uh, last recording uh fish gum seems to be better so you probably seen that already but i'm gonna keep trying again keep comparing them see which one does better hopefully we'll catch some pamponos in the meantime too so let's see what happens guys A good one what is that a shark <laughs> it's right there too like literally yeah I think that's a shark or what do we got oh man yeah yeah that's a shark we got a shark <laughs> We got a shark and a small whiting. <laughs> that's crazy. I think that's a nurse shark. Wow, right there too, guys. Right literally there. That's crazy. All right, let's put it in there. Let's get him off the hook. Look at that. Wow, on a pump on a rig. And he ate the fish gums. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. I'll take a picture. I'll let him go. Let me get my pliers. All right, 
Let's get the pliers. If I whacked it? Yeah, it looks like a nurse shark. But it could be. Very small though, like yeah. a baby. Yeah, pretty cool. Put up a good fight? Oh yeah. Oh. He, he was right there. Wow, maybe he went after the whiting, that small whiting. Who knows? Wow, that's crazy. Look at that, guys. Look at those teeth. Woo! Here we go. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, we'll take a picture and let him go. Very nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. See you later. <laughs> there he goes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is our third day comparing fish bites to fish gums. That's what we're gonna be doing again today. I wanna make sure I do declare the winner fairly. So this is the third day of fishing. We're at Cocoa Beach. I'm right by the pier. I cannot go there, there's a million surfers. The winds are south, southeast, it's turning into, it's gonna be 18 miles an hour, uh, a little bit later on the winds, a lot of winds. Uh, I don't like south, but today that's the only day I have. I have a big tournament coming up, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I cannot be fishing. I wanna finish this video for comparing the fish bites versus fish gums and i'm gonna let you know at the end of the video who is the winner if any so stick around for that uh, in the meantime do not forget to watch my last video that's the 50 dollar gift card giveaway giveaway uh for reaching a 1000 subscribers so i appreciate you guys again thank you so much you guys made it happen so i want to give back to you 50 dollar gift card one lucky subscriber gonna win that so go ahead and hit the link up there and make sure you subscribe to the channel make a nice comment and hit the like button that's all you have to do and i will be picking the winner next week so stay tuned for that one but without further ado let's see which one does better fish bites or fish gums let's go and here we go guys just for comparison to apples to apples I have the easy flea flavor on the fish gum and easy flea flavor on the fish bites. That's all I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna tip it off with anything, no shrimp, no sand flea. Right here. That's the fish gum. It's definitely softer. It feels more premium. It has a premium feel. Thicker, more natural, really. This fish bites, it's to me, plasticky, more artificial, more net in between, you know, uh, when it dissolves. But we're gonna compare easy flea to easy flea. Fish bite, easy flea is my favorite flavor. So we definitely gonna use that. I'm doing them the same way, twice in and out and twice in and out on the fish gum. That's all I'm using. I'm gonna switch them around next as well. I'm gonna put the fish gum on top, fish bite at the bottom. We're gonna try that too, so it's fair. I'm gonna toss it out there, see what happens. On my other rod, which my lucky rod, I know it's not a surf rod, but that's my lucky rod and reel. I have live shrimp. Today, actually, I got live shrimp. So I have one out there since I'm closer to pier. I'm hoping for some redfish passing by. We'll see what happens. But today's video all about fish gums versus fish bites. Let's see who the winner is. All right, guys, 20 minutes later, I pulled the rod out. Fish bites right there, untouched. And fish gum is gone. I had a couple bites, so definitely fish gum did better again I'm gonna switch the places now I'm gonna put the fish bites at the bottom fish gum on the top and let's see how that does and I'll let you know later but definitely so far 
three days testing fish comes clear winner man unreal like it really makes a huge difference but let's switch him around and see what happens all right guys another 20 minutes two three really big hits and as i told you i have swapped them bottom is the fish bites the middle was the fish gums and clearly they destroyed the fish gums again so over and over fish gums definitely doing a better job all the fish they choosing the fish gums over fish bites uh, what's incredible is at the bottom you always get a hit at the bottom at the beach and I swapped them and doesn't matter where it is fish gums are the bait of choice for the fish so it's a clear winner I do declare after three days of different locations beach fishing fish gums are the best bait between two I just want to say thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing hitting the like button making comments we are definitely surpassed 1000 on the way to 5000k and next step hoping for 10k end of the year so i'm hoping for a great year more fish to catch more videos to make and just tuning in man guys i really appreciate it again thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video see you guys so i'm thinking as a fish if i was a fish i would definitely eat the fish gums fish gums more like the ribeye steak marble ribeye steak and the fish bites are more like a skirt steak thin chewy kind of so you know i'm thinking like a fish definitely i go with the ribeye nice thick and juicy so i think in my opinion uh, fish gums are definitely better